on the on the tweet so I've found found one of the ones I've I've tweeted so this has just been retweeted uh, it's a talk by David White who works for the University of Arts London and ICERI 2021 is when is when this was was presented and it's called presence and placemaking and the thing about, well there's two things about it which are, which which make make me interested in this one i found several of his his talks but this one is is on youtube and it's creative commons so i will have a have a look at it and possibly break it up into sections that might work on radio um, I think I think this is one of the uses that Creative Commons can be can be put to. But I, I noticed that um, University Arts London they do have a connection with some of the courses at Exeter College. So some of these ideas might might relate. There might be people from Exeter who go to uh, London um, places like I think it's a College of Fashion communication in the elephant and King's Cross as well. There seems there's there's bits and pieces all over London, so exactly where it is is a bit bit vague. Um, but this this sort of started I think with um, residents and visitors on the web so that teachers started noticing that the some of the people edged 10 or 14 or 6 or other ages already knew about the web and so teaching them I think I don't think I'm being unfair to the the, the way this conversation started um, I'm sure there were people teaching digital skills who had to learn the digital skills very 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 quickly uh, but anyway that was that was a long time ago the idea of whether you're part of an online community or situation or and how that relates to locality that's that's just gone through various formulations but as I say I'm interested in this one because it's creative commons I'm not going to play it all now but I will I will have a look at it and any any other ones that people might suggest around this tech extra conference this this coming week um, the, the thing it relates to is how skills such as clay modelling or, or graphic design can be taught online um, and the, the answer seems to be to, 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 quite, to, to a larger extent than you might think it's, I don't think it's ever going to replace re, reality or so words words like blended or hybrid are still still very relevant, but this this talk is is interesting, and I I think we should look at this tech extra conference in that, in that from that point of view that there's there's other other talks that might might fit. So um, the other one I'll just, I'll just re like and re retweet this one now is um, tech. Tech for Good Southwest, but this is from tw July 2020. Moving your services online. So this 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 was a a talk about uh, Zoom or other other kinds of web web conferencing as a as a way of coping with lockdown. But just in general, the fact the fact that these talks are from 2020 and 2021. There was something going on during lockdown that moved certain things forward and then they've sort of moved backwards again, I think. But AI might... I'm going to go back to the schedule. As I said, I think there's still time to, to get a ticket for the Tech Extra conference on Friday. The, the keynote from Lily Eva Bartha... Uh, from General Labs is new approaches to digital asset production pipeline for 
games, virtual production and spatial computing. So what I'm, what I'm hope I think it's it's about um, f- fashion design, garment garment design. So the, the spatial computing is is the human body, but it might relate to cities or um, geographical spaces. That's the sort of thing which I I get more more interested in because we're we're a local radio, so to some extent we relate. We either relate to Exeter and Devon or West Country or we try and relate things from other places to that space. But also radio. Um, this is where it's going to get complicated, so I'm going to miss this. If any, if anybody else from listening to Phonic or part of Phonic is also going, um, I'd hope somebody will be going to this Networking Europe's largest radio station which is at 11.30, Andy Gatwood from the BBC talking about IP addresses. Apparently, apparently I think the Radio 2, Radio 6 building had had, had to move. So there st- still is a building, but there's a lot of IP addresses as well. But unfortunately, it's on at the same time as harnessing AI to develop a fully inclusive learning environment. Chris Temple Murray from Exeter College, so that's that's the one I'll be going to, and I'll just imagine a, a network of IP addresses. Um, we've got uh, what we've we got here. We've got uh, we've got CD players. I'm going to kind of go over, go over there and press the press the button. <laughs> <laughs> 